You can use Pantheon to create free development sites to test out Drupal. Go to dashboard.getpantheon.com slash login and enter your email address and password. Once there, you can see on the right that you have three development sites. After you've used those three sites, you'll need to either enter credit card information and start paying for one, or delete one to start another. I'll go ahead and click Add a Site and give it a name. If you'd like to change the development URL, you can, but I'm just going to leave it and click Continue. Then Pantheon will start creating your Drupal site. Once it's done, you can click Continue. And you can choose to start from scratch or import an existing site. When you start from scratch, you can choose either Drupal 7 or Drupal 6. We'll use Drupal 7 for this. There are also a number of distributions that you can install on Pantheon. And you can see those below, but I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, install Drupal 7. You'll create your Git repository and get the actual site ready to go. Once the code is installed, you can click Continue. And you're ready to go. You can click this link to actually view the site and get it set up. We'll choose the Pantheon installation profile and save and continue. Save and continue. And now Drupal is actually being installed on the site. So we'll give our site a name, an email address, create our username and password. Choose the country and click save and continue. All right, and then we can visit our site. So this is Drupal out of the box with no customization at all. If we go to add content, we can see that we can add articles and basic pages. Basic pages are often used for static content like an about us or about me in this case. We can create a menu link. That'll be good for me. So I can see there's a menu link up here along with home. Um, let's go ahead and add an article. Articles are generally timed content, like blog posts, things that come out in a specific time. Um, we'll just call this first article. We'll give it a little bit of body text. You can even include images with these. I'm going to choose one of my son. We'll try this one. Go ahead and upload that. And once that's done, we can go ahead and just click save. And we'll see our first article here. And if we go home, we can see a teaser view of that article. So that's kind of Drupal out of the box and what it has. There's a ton more you can do. If you go to drupal.org, you can see some sites made with Drupal. And you can also go to download and extend and see the different themes that are available and different modules that are available. If we just click on most installed modules, we can see some things here. Views is definitely the most installed module, and in fact will be in Drupal 8 core. So there's plenty of things here, and you just have to figure out what you need for what you want to accomplish. 
If you wanted to build an image gallery, you'd probably use views. And in fact, views will be used for most things. But there are a lot of other things, like if you want to do a calendar. We'll obviously need a date module so that we can accept a date. There's also a calendar module. And there's another one that I prefer called full calendar. It acts and looks more like Google Calendar, so it's a little better in my opinion. That's how you can install and start testing and playing with Drupal. I did say that if you needed to delete one, you can come back here to your uh, Pantheon dashboard and go to Settings and Delete Site. You need to type the word DELETE in all caps, and I understand. When you do that, the development site is gone, and you'll have another site that you can now create. So hopefully that'll get you started so that you can start playing with Drupal.